Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kelsey. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing. It's taken me almost 20 whole minutes to say the first line of my video. I don't know why. Today, I'm going to be doing for you guys a huge collective haul. I haven't done one of these in a pretty long time, just like a collective haul of just everything I've been buying, mainly what this collective haul the exciting part of it. About a month ago, I went to Paris, and in my vlog, I said I was gonna do a haul of everything that I bought while I was in Paris, and I never did. And um, you guys seem to have still wanted it, you kept requesting it, and I even asked you, I was like, is it like too late? Like, that was so long ago, do you guys still care? And you said yeah, so I'm still gonna do it for you guys. I'm actually going to start with the Paris stuff first. I know like YouTube rules, I should probably start off with the most exciting thing, like leave it for last, for like watch time but I love you and um, I'm just too excited. I want to start with the most exciting thing. The first thing that I have is this beautiful, yes I am holding right now, this lovely Chanel bag. It's this gorgeous black and white. It's got the classic quilting all the way around. It's got the gold detail of the CC on the front with the long strap. On the inside, it's all white, very pretty. The funniest thing, I don't know if you can see that right there, is it actually, it's actually been monogrammed with an S, which I did not do that, and I thought S is like, you know, S for Simone. So my beautiful little Chanel bag, I don't wanna get lip gloss on it. <laughs> my beautiful little Chanel bag, I got this in Paris, I got this at a consignment store. Now, this is actually my first real Chanel bag in my entire purse collection. If you've watched my channel before, you guys know that I hate like spending big money. Big money. <laughs> you guys know that I don't like spending a lot of money on stuff like this and like designer stuff. Like it really, I don't know, it's really hard for me. So I just decided, I don't know, it was just like a little present to myself. It was so pretty. I saw this in the window actually. Like I didn't even, like I went to the store obviously, but I didn't even have to like go in and like look around. I saw this in the window and I was like, it's that one. That's the one I'm going to get. Another thing that I got in Paris, I thought this was a really good investment because it's something that I wear a lot is like a good pair of just black boots and I need a new pair in my collection. All of my pairs like I had had forever. So I decided to get myself these babies. They are these beautiful Dior. They're platform. They're just these leather heels and they're so pretty. I love the little Dior detail on the heel. I liked these because I felt like they were so simple, like they'd go with everything, but like they still, like this little detail is adorable. And yeah, I just figured I could wear this every day with like jeans or I can wear it Literally, they're just black heel boots. Like, I can wear them with anything. And because they're platform, they're so comfortable. What was it? The last night of Paris, I wore these out to dinner, and I wore them, like, all night long. And they were so comfortable. I didn't have any problems with them. These I got in Galleries Lafayette at the actual, like, the shoe-level Dior store. Then here, this is, I think, the scene in the vlog where I said, hey, guys, I'm gonna do a haul. And then I didn't. The day that I went, I had some free time, actually. And I decided that I wanted to just, like, take a walk on my own in Paris and just sort of, like, adventure. So I did. I was walking around town and I decided to just like Google a little consignment store and I found one I will leave their link in the description because they were so amazing and they actually were nice enough to give me like the cutest little influencer discount on this stuff and I'm so obsessed with these pieces I'm sure you guys saw this on my Instagram already it is this Chanel beret it's got this beautiful little white CC on the white bow let me put it on for you guys it is so pretty it's so adorable look at the little CC how could you not to love it. I've got these little Chanel CC. They're like, they're actually clip-on earrings, which is amazing. They're like these little gold circles and the CC, I don't know if you could tell, they're rhinestone. So I can even like triple up if I wanted to and just wear three earrings because I don't have like a third hole, So, but I could with these because they're clip-ons. I can put them anywhere, which I love these and I've been wearing them so, so much. And again, like I love this hat. It is so pretty. I do have some more stuff from Paris, but it's kind of like mixed throughout. I feel like while we're already like on this big Chanel train, I have one more thing. These I did not get in Paris. These I actually bought online. Um, you also may have seen these on my Instagram. So these are actually, they're like wooden clog, like kitten heels. And they just have the little CC all around the leather band up front. And they are the cutest things ever. So I'm probably just gonna save them until like next spring and summer, but I think that they're so pretty and I got them for such a good price. 
price oh my gosh they're adorable and you guys know like kitten heels are my like everyday shoe they're so comfortable and they're just black so I can wear them and last thing I got were these sneakers well not the last thing I got but the last shoes I got were these Nike Cortez just the classic black and white sneakers I had been wanting these for such a long time and in my mall literally everywhere they were sold out and I was finally able to get a pair I've like already started staining them with fake tanner but um, yeah, they're very comfortable. I definitely love to invest in sneakers. My sneaker collection of just white sneakers is probably way too much for the average person, but it's what I wear all the time. So, and I really wanted these. I think right now they're probably my favorite pair that I have. So now that I'm done with shoes, I'm gonna show you guys clothes. And then I actually also have some beauty products as well. So for clothes, these are like really random. So I'm just gonna like pull them out of the bag as I go. Cause they're literally still in the shopping bags from when I got them. But I'm pretty sure we're starting with Zara. Um, this piece is Zara. I have this really pretty, it really needs to be wrink uh, wrinkled. It, so it really needs to be ironed. It's extremely wrinkly, but I got this really beautiful, like, white silky blouse. I have a lot of these already, but they're normally, like, button up or something, and I just thought this was nice, just like a full, just full blouse, and it's got, like, this really pretty sort of high neck almost. Love this. I forgot I got this. This is this little cowl neck silky black top and the I like how like the sides just sort of scrunch down like that on the string. I don't know if you can see that. Um, this is also from Zara. It's just super long. It doesn't have any slits or anything, which I prefer that. It just goes all the way down, which I know this is a summery piece, but you can definitely still warm these up with like throwing like a little cable knit sweater on top or even like this, like wearing like a turtleneck underneath and putting like the dress on top. Then I got these little flat they're these pointed toe sort of angled white leather flats with like the little strap in the back now I've been buying flats a lot you guys know that I'm like definitely into sneakers and like I love comfortable shoes that are like still cute at the same time and I don't know why I never thought about getting ballet flats but I didn't until I saw this picture of I think it was was it Grace Kelly? I follow like those 1950s fashion inspiration pages and I saw her it was a photo shoot she was having with Pablo Picasso in Cannes I think yeah, 1952, <laughs> like history major, fashion history major here. And she had the cutest little ballet flats on with her dress. If I find the picture, like I'll put it up here. And I was like, I need to get myself just a pair of fitted ballet flats. So I did, they're also from Zara. They're a black pair. I've definitely probably worn them before in Instagram posts or something, but I wanted to get these like pointed toe ones that look like a little bit more sleek, a little bit more dressed up. Cause the other ones I have, they're rounded toe and they're just like plain, like there's nothing they're just completely basic which is so nice for like, traveling I got these white ones just as like a little mix I have a black pair now and I have a white pair okay wait I'm trying to continue okay so now I think we're on to H&M I have this huge coat let me find the this is the top of it so it is this very furry material I think I did style this no I didn't I bought this out of desperation of I went to New York and I had a cute outfit on but I underestimated how cold and windy it was so I ran into an H&M and I was like I just need to buy a coat and this was like the most comfortable it's like that like teddy bear material and it's got like the little tie here to cinch it around so I just wear it just like a big old trench and I just cinch it around and I just I'm just warming it all day long and it saves my life and it's so comfortable and cozy like a blanket next thing I got is this blazer I everything is so wrinkly because I've been saving it for this haul so it's been in the shopping bag for like a week um, so this blazer it is like this corduroy blazer which is so cool and it's got tortoise shell buttons it's just like a little bit long I got it a little bit oversized and I love just this creamy white I don't have any white blazers surprisingly actually that's a lie I do have one but um I stained it with makeup and fake tanner during photo shoots so technically so yeah she's she's done she's done all she can do so I needed one and I thought this one was like really just cool and interesting and I do really love corduroy for the fall and winter next thing I have is this sweater dress I it's backwards. I love a good sweater dress. And as you can see, it's really long. <laughs> it's got this really pretty cable knit and it's like kind of like a turtleneck thing going on. And yeah, I just really liked it. I thought it was just like simple, comfortable, like those lazy days when I want to look cute in the winter, but it's just too cold. So yeah, I'd probably like wear this on top of like some light wash jeans and with just like my little my little sneakers or I just wear it with like some sort of like tall boot and then like a trench coat. Super simple. 
super comfortable. Oh, we have more Zara stuff. I don't know how I did that. There's more Zara. I got these light wash jeans, but they're not just light wash jeans, you guys. They are like super big and like they're rolled at the bottom I don't know you have to see them on they're like fitted at the waist and then they like flare out like there's like a lot of fabric here so like they're very like wide and poofy and I think that they just look really fun especially when you have like a cropped or like a fitted top so it's like these big oversized jeans kind of like statement jean and um I love the color of them I love the fit of them they look really good on and there's not much to say about them they're just cute jeans your cute jeans wait they're my jeans <gasps> this is another paris thing i forgot about this when i was in paris i thank you so much was invited to the bevza showroom because when i was there it was also paris fashion week i got this beautiful bevza it's like a turtleneck bodysuit but i don't know if you can tell the sides of the bodysuit go like way up yes i'm wearing sweatpants so um like if you're wearing like jeans even if they are high-waisted you kind of have like a cool little opening here on the side two more things from zara i got these beige leather pants that unzip and like open up at the bottom which i think is really nice especially for me a little shorty over here i like to have like sort of cropped pants and like shorter like i like to show ankle room so i think that those are like really good for me then we've got this which is so comfortable and like i was honestly questioning it in the store when like getting it and i don't know it's like one of my favorite things now so it is this very beautiful um what is it <laughs> it's a jacket I don't really know how to describe it. It's like got this little print on the fabric. It's cream and it's just very comfortable. It's not like the thickest. It's not like a coat, but it is nice for layering and things like that. And like right now, while it's like it's cold, but it's not like freezing cold, I can still get away with just wearing this on top of my sweater. And it's really nice for like layering and stuff like that to even put another coat over it. And I just really like it. I think it's really, really cute. What brings me to the beauty section, I have it all in like a little dish here, is they happen to have a perfume at Oisho, and of course I got it. So this is the, what is it even called? It doesn't even have a name. They only had this one, so I'm pretty sure like this is it. And it smells exactly like a really expensive perfume that my mom actually has. Like it reminded me exactly of it. And look how cute this packaging is. Look how cute this packaging is. I did get a few beauty products while I was in Paris. I stopped out when I was in Galleries Lafayette, the like floor that you walk in on. They have like a little Chanel beauty counter, so I got some things. This, I had never seen this Chanel packaging in like America before. <laughs> I just said, in like America before. <laughs> if I could sound more American. Um, anyways, I thought this was really pretty. Just the beige packaging with the little Chanel written across the top. And I definitely only bought this for the packaging because I don't even use this beauty product. It is a just a powder foundation. If you know me, you know that I don't use powder because I have really dry skin. But it, look, it even says like the Chanel in the powder and then of course it comes with a little Chanel brush. And then I got two things. I got a nail polish which is actually the one that I'm wearing. Wow my hands look so pale. <laughs> I don't have any fake tanner on right now and like especially with like the lighting. I'm gonna have to color grade this. Maybe I won't, maybe I will. But yeah, it's the nail polish I have on right now. Basically, I wanted a nail polish. I always do at-home gel polishes, but just for like when I don't have time, I just have this little nude color. This is in the shade, where is it? Oh, right here. 646 Bleached Mauve, so in case you wanted to know. Then I also got this lip color. It's shade 52 called Casual, and it's just this really pretty everyday nude color so then all the rest of this beauty stuff is just stuff that i've gotten here at sephora i've got one of my all-time favorite perfumes which is from well this is a new scent but i love the replica my Margiela perfumes this one is the whispers in the library which is one of their like warmer fall scents then i got one of just a refill of my marc jacobs coconut primer one of my all-time favorite face primers i got the dior capture youth this is their new skin effect enzyme solution it's a resurfacing water i actually had you guys help me decide if i should buy this or not on my instagram stories which by the way you guys should follow me on instagram if you don't already but yeah this is the enzyme water and i don't really have anything sort of like this i only really have toning waters and this is like a hydration water resurfacing water and then I also picked up one of the Estee Lauder double wear stay in place foundations which
which is definitely not my usual buy. As you guys may know, I don't even really wear foundation, but I've just heard so many good things about this that I wanted to try it. Maybe if I ever wanted to wear foundation, if I ever wanted to give it a try, maybe I thought that I would like this one. Then I got the Cora Organics Nuni Glow Face Oil, which if you don't know, this is actually Miranda Care's skincare line. She's the cutest, so I figured I'd get it. It smells so good, and I love just face oils in general. I actually like to mix my foundation to do moisturizer or whatever I'm wearing. I like to mix it with a face oil, um, and it works wonders, by the way, if you have dry skin. Okay, so that is everything that I have for today's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry you had to wait so long to see what I got from Paris, but um, if you guys want me to do more hauls like this, because I know I haven't done one in so long, and like this isn't something I normally film, just like hauls of stuff, just let me know in the comments if you like them. Also, you can let me know if you like hauls by giving them a thumbs up. That way I will know that you want to see more. Also, make sure to check out my Instagram, because normally all of this stuff I end up wearing on there, so you guys can see, even when I'm not doing a haul of what I got, you guys can see me styling stuff that I buy on my Instagram. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post one video a week. But I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.